I think that somewhere along the line, a lot of AMC apes forgot whose side they were on. Seriously. I think they came into this play with a very, very definite idea of whose side they were on. Meaning they were on the side of retail. They were on the side of the Moaz. They were on the side of like changing wealth, generational wealth, and our movement. And then throughout the last two years, all the corruption, manipulation, of course I'll say it's alleged, but we know. I think a lot of people started to drift away. Like a nice, like a, like an eagle. Fly like an eagle to the sea. Fly like an eagle, let my spirit carry me. Anyway. And <laughs> I think now they're confused. And they're like, whose side am I on? Because we all came into this play. We didn't care about AMC. Let's, let's, let's put the cards on the table. We didn't care about Adam Aaron. We don't care about the fundamentals. <laughs> We're in this for the Moaz. We're in this for the short squeeze. We're in this for the money, baby, right? We're in this for us, for us, for me, for you. We are family. You're my brothers and sisters with me. All right, no more singing, but anyway. <laughs> I promise that. But anyway, um, somewhere along the line, that's a great song, by the way, by Billy Joe. I'm not going to sing it. But um, that's a very underrated song. It wasn't a hit song of his, but it's a great song, Somewhere Along the Line. Check that one out. That's uh, way, way, way back when he was uh, first starting out. But anyway, people lost the reason they're in this play. They don't know the reason anymore. They forgot it. And I think somehow a lot of people switched from being in this for the Moaz, the short squeeze, life-changing wealth, generational wealth. They switched to, I'm in this for the best interest of AMC, meaning the, the corporation. I'm in this. And then somehow aligned themselves with Adam Aaron. He's our silverback. He's the CEO of AMC. I love him. I love him so much. Like, feel for real, you know? This guy created an account called Fake For Real. It was hysterical. <laughs> but anyway, okay. I'm not going to make this about Gimp For Real. Okay, we'll talk about him another time. But the thing is, why did that happen? I know why it happened. I understand. I understand why it happened. Because you're trying to find... A reason to fight. You're looking for something. You need something that's tangible. You need something that's real. Because everything else seems like it's a fantasy, right? Everything else seems like that's another great song by Billy Joe. Sometimes a fantasy, you know. Oh, didn't want to do it, but I got too lonely. I had to call you up in the middle of the night. All right, that's all. Do it so for love to try to make a love a long distance. I, I want to know more. It's a great song, though. Oh, I really need a stimulation. Or maybe it's just my imagination. It's just the fantasy. Oh, oh, it's not the real thing. Oh, oh. So the point is, the Moaz seems like it's just a fantasy, right? It's not real. It's all like Fugazi, you know, it's all Fugazi, it's all make-believe. The plane, the plane, Fantasy Island. So you see Adam Aaron, Adam Aaron is real, right? He's real. He's like, okay, he's a real human being. He's the real CEO of AMC. And maybe that's what happened. Because you got so tired of the fantasy, you wanted to embrace the reality. But the problem is the person you're embracing, he's got a different agenda. He doesn't have your agenda. He doesn't want the Moabs. He doesn't want you to get a short squeeze. That's going to destroy his company and his career and his job. He doesn't want that. Okay? So you're the person who now you're embracing, it's a conflict of interest. Because he wants different things than you. Don't you understand? He wants different things. He wants AMC's debt lowered. He's very worried about his creditors. He wants to make deals with them. He wants to keep AMC alive. He needs more money because the revenue is not enough to cover the debt and all the expenses. They're burning through Benjamin's cash. So what does he do? He goes to all these people that are, you know, 
holding holding on to him for hope. The retail investor, the AMC Apes. And what is he doing? He's playing the part. Meeting them at movie theaters, taking a picture. <laughs> right? He's taking a little picture with everybody, sitting next to Phil For Real and his family, you know. <laughs> Phil For Real's like this one. I had a man would sit next to me and my family. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Feel for real. Um, but then what is he really doing, Adam Aaron? He's taking retail's money. Over and over and over and over and over again. And why not? Do you blame him? I don't blame him, right? No one's saying anything to him. No one's uh, got a problem with it. So take 90% of your shares, you know? What's next? Oh, Adam, Aaron, I love you. No, it's okay. You love me? Yeah, yeah. Refinance your house. Let me take that money. Let me help pay off uh, AMC's debt. You think it's good for the company? The thing is, you give a mouse a piece of cheese, it's gonna want a glass of milk. That's it. No, no, uh, there's like no, uh, you know, punishment here for this dude. You know, no repercussions. So that's why I came up with the analogy knife to the belly. Not using a knife, it's just action we have to take to make a statement. Okay, and if you, you know, watch my video before this one, it explains the whole theory. Watch the video before this one. Just go to my YouTube channel, Wait Father. You'll see my per click videos. Watch the video prior to this one. All right. Gabish. Video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video is not legal advice. I'm not an attorney. This video, all my videos, for entertainment purposes only.